You're now live. Hey, everybody. Thank you for waiting. This is Dr. Sam. Uh, the internet wouldn't connect for some reason or the other, but hello to all the loved ones out there. Thank you for waiting. Uh, the, you know, y'all know I'm not tech savvy, right? But the Lord, he, I just, we said, prayed over this thing. I'm like, Lord, open the floodgates. Let the loved ones see. Let us commune together. And here you are. Thank you. I see you all. I won't be able to read everybody's uh, stuff, but because I'm going to be in the Word of God. We're going to be in the Word of God together. You know that you are an overcomer. I'm going to pronounce that on you today, that you are an overcomer. According to Revelation 12, 11. Oh, it's so good, Revelation. According to 12, 11, it says, you and I, we've overcome the evil one by the blood of the lamb and by the word of our testimony and of course it's talking about the tribulation and and covid 19 may look like the tribulation you know the long lines where you have to wait and you got to go get toilet paper or whatever you got to go get it, it looks like the tribulation but believe me it's not the tribulation the rapture is happening next and we're going to be taking off the lord is going to come for his church he's going to come for his loved ones and we who have the blood and if you don't have the blood today we're going to get we're going to pray over you to get the blood of the lamb that's what's going to happen so so by they overcame by the blood and the word of their testimony we're going to be on the first train on the first plane in the fast lane we're going to take off we're going to take off and be with our lord forever but right here now we're on earth and we need hope and we need prayer and we need like the grace of the living god we need life and that's why we're together thank you thank you for joining me i see you guys I see your hearts. I, I see your comments. Thank you for joining. Thank you for praying with me. We're going to make a difference and um, by prayer. You know, we can sit here and yap all day long about what's going on. And we are going to, but we're going to pray about it so we can change this world, our circumstances, and your life, our lives. We're going to change that in the name of Jesus Christ. Father God, we come before you right now. All the loved ones are out here uh, on the internet and, and Satan doesn't control the air. You control the air, Papa. So we're coming here live, Father. You're always live. We're with you. You say in Isaiah 45, 6, from the rising of the sun to the place where it sits, there is no other God. I am the Lord, he says, and there is no other. Oh, my Father, my, my God, our Papa, we worship you. In Proverbs 18, 10 you tell us that your name is like a strong tower the righteous run to God the righteous run to the tower the righteous run to the refuge and are safe father this COVID-19 is running around scaring the world uh, locking down everything the world has to give uh, uh, the houses and, and businesses and hospitals and schools and and people are in panic mode and they're saying what can we do how can we survive this we've never seen anything like this you are our strong tower papa you are our fortress you are our salvation we run to you and there we are safe we believe in your blood. We believe in your resurrection. We believe on in the cross. And we believe in life that you give us, Father. The bread of life that you are. We come to you in Revelation 1.18. You said, Father, you said that you hold the keys of death and Hades. Uh, COVID-19 doesn't hold the keys of death and Hades. This world doesn't hold the keys. I see your hearts. Pray with me. Pour out your hearts. Uh, I, the world doesn't own it. The government doesn't own it. The state government, the federal government, the world doesn't own it. From Australia to Africa to Armenia to Argentina to uh, Canada to wherever you are in the world. Central America, South America, Mexico, Canada. Uh, uh, California, New York, East Coast, West Coast, North, South, East, West. No matter where you are in this world, Jerusalem, no matter where you are in this world, our God holds the keys of death and Hades. Nobody else. Nobody else. Father, we are not scared today. We are taking a hold of fear and saying, no longer will you rule over us. You, Papa, you rule over us because you have everything under your control and so we are so 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 thankful to you father we are so thankful according to revelation 1 11 father you say that you are the alpha and the omega 
Oh, that means you control the beginning, you control the middle, and you control the end. You are the alpha and the omega. You are the first and you are the last. That's who we're talking to today. That's who we love today. That's who we're worshiping. You, Papa. You, God, Father. Holy Spirit, come. Holy Spirit, fall on us. Holy Spirit, change our world. Change the dynamics of this death. Change the dynamics of this fear. Change the dynamics of this hell on earth father we're giving up our souls our hearts our lives our everything to you so that you may take over and and reside in our hearts and minds without fear without death without hopelessness but with hope and with your favor that's how we're going to live our lives Father, in Revelation 3.20, you tell us, all the loved ones here, I see you, I see your hearts, I, 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 I sense you're pouring out your soul with me. Thank you, because we're going to pray for your healing, and we're going to pray for, for your protection in a minute. So, Father, I, I thank you that you say in Revelation chapter 3, verse 20, that you stand at the door and knock. Oh, oh, you're standing at the door right now and knocking on our doors our hearts doors and you say if anybody hears and Papa we hear you right now Woo, Holy Spirit fall we hear you we sense you we we trust you if anybody hears you open up the heart open up the door and you said you'll come in and that you will dine with us and we will dine with you we're about to dine with our Jesus Christ. We're about to dine with the Holy Spirit. We're about to dine with the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah to the Lamb. We praise you, Father. We give up this whole nation of America, United States of America. We give North America, South America, Africa, Australia, the Middle East, Europe, uh, Spain, France. Uh, we give up all Antarctica. We give up Greenland. We give up United Kingdom, England, we give it all up to you in your hands. We don't give it up to the COVID-19. We don't give it up to fear. We don't give it up to what we're hearing in the news. We give it up to you and we say you are sovereign. You are God. You are in control. And Father, I sense it that you're going to come. You're going to help us. You're going to lift us. You're going to lift us out of this death and out of this condemnation and out of this grunge and make us, oh, look just like you, like diamonds in the rough. We may look like there's car uh, tar all over us, but we're diamonds in the rough. You're making us new as we pray and we so we thank you. We thank you. We praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. And we're going to pray the whole time with purpose. We're not talking about just prayer so we can check it off. Okay, 5 o'clock, we checked it. We're good. And so for some people, it's 8 o'clock. For some people, it's like 1 o'clock or 2 o'clock on Friday morning. God bless you for setting up your alarm clocks. God bless you for being with us because we need you. We need you to intercede, every single one of you, to intercede for this land, for our world, for our lives. We need to intercede right now as we're going along. So there is talk. And there's a checkbox prayer, that's not what we're doing. What's the talk saying anyway? The talk saying, well, there's more deaths. And we don't even know if those deaths that are being recorded, if those are accurate recordings, okay? Let me tell you that. So as a man of signs, let me tell you that all the recordings are not accurate. And, but, but they're saying, oh, the, the number of deaths are more than we had in Vietnam War and on and on and and, and, and how about the second wave and when it comes and what are we gonna do in it? No. No, no, no. And the vaccine, whoever gets the vaccine first, they're going to be the best. And, and if the other people don't get it, how, how are we going to live? We're going to live in the blood of the Lamb of Jesus Christ. We're going to live by His Spirit. We're going to live by His strength. That's how we're going to live. So we're going to pray with purpose. You know, in Philippians 4, 8, it says that whatever is right and whatever is pure, whatever is true and whatever is noble, Whatever is excellent and whatever is praiseworthy, whatever is lovely, whatever is admirable, think of these things. And that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to take away the fear, the COVID-19, the deaths and all that. We're going to say, step aside. Step aside right now in the name of Jesus. We're going to take your circumstance, uh, joblessness, hopelessness, um, 
neighbor problems. I, some of y'all got neighbors that you can't stand. And um, that, that might be going on in your head or somebody in the family uh, causing a heartache, uh, uh, a spouse, uh, uh, a son, daughter, whatever it might be causing heartaches for your soul, for your heart. Um, Whatever it might be, all that is weighing you down. All that is just on your shoulders and you're like, I, I can't do this anymore. We come to the right place. We come to meet our Lord. We come to put aside all that and we come and give up our minds. We have hope. How do we have hope? Father, we, we're going back into prayer here. Father, you tell us in Lamentations chapter 3, verses 21 to 23, that this I bring to my mind. And therefore I have hope you see whatever we bring into my mind or our minds that's what's gonna happen if we bring in bad we think bad if we bring in fear we think fear but if we bring in God bring him bring him when we bring him in oh my we have hope and and in Jeremiah he keeps on saying great because you have, because of your great love, Father, because of your great love, it's not some love. It's not like I got you on Monday, Tuesday, but you're going to have to take care of yourself on Wednesday. And I got you on over the weekend, but but in the mid midweek, I can't get you. No, he's got you every day, every single day, every time the clock clicks and tick tock, tick tock, tick tock. God's got you with job, without job. Um, he, he's got everything in his hands. He's got you. He's got you where he wants you and he's going to help you and deliver you and honor you. And this is what we, we, because of his great love, we are not consumed. Some people say, I love hot dogs and ice cream and I love you and I got your back. Mm, Jesus got great love. He don't have just love. He's got great love for you. He's got great love. And, and because of his great love, you and I are not consumed. Do you hear that? We are not consumed. We are not fearing COVID-19. We are not fearing death. We are not fearing a ventilator and hospitalization. We are not going to be consumed because of his great love. Oh, they are new. They are new. I got so excited that uh, the camera moved. Uh, they are new every morning every morning his, his mercies are new every morning great is his faithfulness not little not mediocre not somewhat but great 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 is his faith he has not forgotten you he will never leave you he's got you, you know where you're sitting right now or on your knees I'm on my knees right now praying to our father together wherever you are Whatever your name is, whatever you feel, however torn you feel, he knows exactly where you are. And great, great, great is his faithfulness for you. He's never going to abandon you. He's always going to lift you up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for your faithfulness. Thank you that we are not consumed. Thank you that we're not going to fear COVID-19. Thank you that we're not going to fear our future. What's going to happen to me? How He's got us. You're in, we're in the palm of your hands, Papa. You've written us in the palm of your hands. Ah, we can't go wrong. And we're so, so thankful. We are so thankful, Father. We're going to go into the Word just a little bit. I, I prayed so hard for this and fasted and wanted to share with you um, what the good Lord told me to share with us here. And um, it took me a while to get here. I, I just, it, it, the, the floodgates wouldn't open and, and finally it opened. And I'm like, yes, 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 this is what we need to hear. It's in the book of Daniel. It's in chapter 2. You know, uh, Daniel, it's about 600 years before Jesus Christ. And Daniel was taken as a prisoner from Jerusalem by the Babylonian king Nebuchadnezzar. And, and they took him to a land he did not know. And they wanted him to, um, they wanted him to dress the same as they did. They wanted him to eat the food so that if they they could get in their minds and change their names and change their habits and change their culture you know what that's what our culture has done to us they're trying to change our names they're trying to change our ways they're trying to change our thinking and they're trying to tell us the Bible is antiquated it doesn't do good anymore look at you want good this is the best good that's not good English but this is the best good you can have right here it's the Bible it's Jesus Christ's word it's Jesus himself because this is who he is and this this is how he instructs us and so they wanted to change him and King Nebuchadnezzar had a dream okay that was in chapter 1 they, they didn't follow their own foods but in, in chapter 2 King Nebuchadnezzar has a dream and 
and he says to all the wise people, you tell me the dream. I want to know my dream. What did I dream? And they're like, uh, check it out, king. You got to tell us your dream, and then we going to tell you what it means. And he's like, nah, you guys are all nutty, cuckoo, loco. You lost your mind. You go ahead and tell me what my dream is, and then you, I believe you when you give me the interpretation. They're like, oh my, there's no, they say in verse 10, 2, 10, there is no man on earth who can tell the king's matter. And then, then the king says, destroy them all. This, just destroy all these wise men. And then da Daniel goes to the king and says, King, 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 please give me time. Let me pray. Oh, see, see, prayer is going to change death. Because they were, they actually, this is the first time I've seen this. Uh, so the decree went out and they began killing the wise men. They already started killing them. Uh-huh. So Daniel wants to pray so that he could stop the death. And so they pray, and he tells Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, pray, pray with me. And they pray, and they, they might seek, so that they may seek mercies of God. They wanted to seek God's mercy. You know, in Isaiah 55, 6, it says, Seek the Lord when He is found. Uh, uh, go near to Him. Draw near to Him when He is here, and He can hear us. That's what we're doing now. We're seeking the Lord when He can be found. And then all of a sudden, the secret came to Daniel. And and the and he went and told the, the he went and told King Nebuchadnezzar what the dream was about and and the king saved his life Shadrach Meshach and all the wise men see what prayer does it saves lives without prayer there's death with prayer it saves lives that's what we're here for that's why we do what we do that's why we're here because we're going to save lives in the name of Jesus Christ that's what we're doing right here and listen to what the king says here's the prayer and we're going to pray with the king blessed be the name of God forever and ever God we bless you forever and ever for wisdom and might are yours and you change the times and seasons and you remove kings and raise up the kings father we're asking you to take down evil kings we're asking you to take down evil administration or governments or uh, pr uh, principalities or any prime ministers or anybody who does not know you, hates you, and wants us to die. We're asking you to take those people down in the name of Jesus, and we're asking you to resurrect kings and men of God who love you, who love your word, and who love people, and who want to help people and not trash people. That's what we're asking, Papa. I know the time is short, but Papa, you can give it to us, Father. That's what we're asking for. You, relieve, you reveal deep and secret things. He knows you know what's in the darkness, and light dwells in you. We praise you, Papa, because light and life dwells in you in you and that's the beauty of our God I'm not done with this oh my goodness I went to chapter 6 and I found something I've never seen before Daniel chapter 6 so Daniel now was under a new administration he's under Darius another king and um, and these haters y'all got hang on a minute y'all got haters hello everyone I see you I see your hearts I see your amens I see your love I see your hands I see your hearts I see you. Oh, beautiful. Amen. Keep on praying with me. It's great to see you too. I love it. I love it. Amen. Amen. Keep on. Keep on. Oh, I, I see France. France is saying hello. My goodness. Hello. Oh, my goodness. That is so beautiful. Uh, people of all nations, hello to you. God bless you for being with us. So here we go. The haters. The haters. They came up and they said, oh, wait. This man's got a lot of influence. We don't like that. It's a no-no. And so they say, how can we take him out? They couldn't figure it out because he was so righteous. He was walking with God. He was doing things of God. And, and so they came up with a decree. They told the King Darius, look, if anybody prays to anybody else, anybody else, then we need to kill that person. They don't they, for 30 days. They need to pray only to you, King. They knew Daniel was praying to God. So Daniel, Daniel. Now, when he knew that the writing was signed in 6:10, he went home and in the upper room, and he closed the windows or he opened the windows that were closed. Hi everyone. He closed it. He the, what was closed? He opened, and he knelt down on his knees. Hallelujah, and. Three times a day he prayed and gave thanks before God as he was accustomed to. So he prayed to God 
and and all of a sudden they threw him in in, in the lion's den you know there is no mention that Daniel prayed while he was in the lion's den he prayed before he was in the lion's den that's the secret to our lives that we pray together hello everyone i see you that we pray together that we love each other that we lift up each other in the name of jesus christ and we go to one king one lord one savior one jesus we go to him and say father god hello everyone pray with me yes in the name of jesus yes yes i see you yes in the name of jesus yes we're going to pray for anxiety father god we're asking that all this evil the covid 19 anxiety depression cancer hardship finances that are slowing down oh God we're praying for your mercy we're on our knees we are saying father God come come Holy Spirit come Jesus Christ help your children raise your children raise prophets of the living God let us begin this revival that goes nations and nations and let people come to Christ the most important thing is if we lose things here on earth and that's what God is showing us that we have lost a lot of things but let us never lose our souls. Our souls belong to Christ. Our souls belong to Christ. We pray every day. We pray on our knees before, during, and after the lion's den. And that's what we're doing right now in the name of Jesus Christ. So right now, if you have, if you have your bread and the water, if you have the bread and the water, I want us to take communion together. This is so important. Only Jesus. Amen. I see you. Amen, Doc. I see you, Shellers. I see you guys. Yes, yes. Hands going up. Praying together. Don't and I see you. Jesus, we praise you, Lord. Amen. Amen. I see you. Psalm 91. Yes, that's exactly right. Let's pray together. Let's believe. Let's believe that this bread is going to bring healing and I, I i don't mean to say it's this bread now now track with me in john 1 1 in the beginning was the word and the word was with god and the word was god who is that well we find out just a couple of uh, verses after that it says in in john 1 14 and this word became flesh Woo! That's Jesus Christ 2,000 years ago. Hallelujah. Pray with me. Keep on praying with me. I see you. I see your hearts. I see your crosses. I see your hands. Pray with me. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, yes, yes. Pray with me. And so in John 6, 35, what does Jesus say? John 6, 35. I'm the bread of life. If anybody comes to me, he will never hunger. And if anybody believes in me, he will never thirst. Oh, we're coming to you, Jesus. This is, he is the word and the word is the bread of life. I am the bread. You know where he was born, y'all? Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Hear the prayers of your people. They're praying right now with me. They're praying. They're pouring out their hearts. You know where he was born? He was born in Bethlehem. You know what Beth means? Beth means house. Lechem, you got to get the ch out of you. Lechem, Bethlehem, that means the house of bread. That's where Jesus was born. He is the house of bread. He is the bread of life. He is the sustenance that keeps us going. And we've taken our eyes off everything. We put our eyes on toilet paper and we put our eyes on uh, shops and we, we waited in lines like mad boys and mad girls. But here is what our eyes are on. It's good to sustain ourselves. That's it's yes, it's good to sustain ourselves. But but our eyes have got to be on Jesus Christ. That's what we're here for. In in John 6:51, it said that this bread is my flesh and I give life to the whole world. That's why I called upon the whole world to pray with us, y'all. Because it's the whole I can't I go crazy when people say well Jesus is only for this people and Jesus is only for America or Jesus is only for those who he has called listen listen he gives life to the whole world whole world he's got the whole world in his hands he loves the whole world he died for the whole world okay I'm gonna tie it together here 
in Isaiah 53, 5, it says, He, Jesus Christ, was wounded for our transgressions, and he was bruised for our iniquities. I mean, they tore his back with those stripes. They, before he went to the cross, they tore his back. You, there was no skin left. I, I cut myself um, t this week. Uh, oh my goodness, it, it's just a little cut and it's been hurting like crazy. They, there was no skin on Jesus' back. The, you, they tore his muscles in the back. And he was wounded and he was bruised. And the chastisement that belonged to me and you, he took upon himself, and get this, by his stripes. Are you ready? By his stripes, we are healed. Because this is the bread, and it's the word, and Jesus is the bread of life, and he gave up in John 6, 51, he gave up his life as the bread for the whole world, his flesh, and it says because of his wounds, and by his stripes, we are healed. So right now, take a piece of bread. Take this piece of bread. Let me put it down. Take this piece of bread and hold it in your hands. This is so precious. This is how we remember Jesus Christ. This is how we remember what he did for us on the cross. He, he came as a sinless man and died on the cross Yes, we're praying for David's dad in the name of Jesus. Whatever his need is, I saw that. Whatever his need is, let it be that he be healed. As a sinless man, he went on the cross. First he got beat up, then on the cross, and he shed his blood for you and me. And then on the third day he rose. And anybody who accepts us, if we believe in our hearts that Jesus is Lord and, believe, and, and confess with our mouths and believe in our hearts that God raised him from the dead, then we are saved. That's how simple Jesus is. And so in salvation, salvation, we're going to pray for salvation in a minute. But this bread is his body. And it says that by his wounds, by his stripes, watch this. I'm going to tear this bread up. By those stripes, his tearing, you and I are healed. When you ingest this, you say, I am healed in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm talking to people with cancer. I'm talking to people with diabetes. I'm talking to people with high blood pressure. I'm talking to people with Parkinson's. I'm talking to people with neurological issues. I'm talking to people with GI tract issues. They have to eat gluten and all this uh, gluten-free diets. I'm talking to people who can't walk. I'm talking to people who can't talk. I'm talking to people who have had strokes. I'm talking to loved ones here who don't know what to do. Finances are falling apart. I'm talking to people whose families are falling apart. I'm talking to people whose souls are falling apart. I'm talking to you loved ones who might be so depressed and so anxious and so heartbroken because you lost somebody in your life or somebody did something so bad to you that you're broken and you cannot rise up you've gone to the doctor you've gone to the nurses you've gone to the authors you've gone to the lawyers you've gone to the accountants you've gone to the teachers you've gone everywhere and you've said please help me and nobody has been able to help right here I'm not telling you not to go to the doctors since I'm a heart doctor and by God's grace I get to touch people's lives through medication and stents. But first, 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 let's go to God. Let's go to God. Let's go from where the healing begins. He's called Jehovah Rapha. That means He is our God and He is our healer. Amen. Praise you, Jesus. I see you. Yes, we have hope in Jesus. Amen. Amen. And, and someone's dad passed away and they need prayer. We're praying. We're praying. We're praying for broken hearts, broken souls, broken minds, and broken bodies. As you ingest this, and we're, we're going to do this together, I want you to claim it with your mouth. Don't say, oh, no, that's not for me. It's for somebody. Don't say that. The, the power of words, they can kill or they can heal. Right now, we're going to speak healing by His stripes. I am healed. Take it with me and remember Jesus and what He did for us. Father, we are healed. We're claiming healing from head to toe. We're claiming healing and we're interceding actually for this whole world. We're interceding for 
from Africa to Australia to America. We're in interceding to Argentina, uh, east, north, west, south, middle, equator, Antarctica, north, pole, south. We're interceding, Papa. We're telling death and COVID-19 to shut up and get its ugly, virus, stinking, looking self out in the name of Jesus Christ so that we can live and our eyes will always be on Jesus Christ, on Jesus Christ. And I'm praying, Father, for my loved ones here who took the bread with me. I'm claiming their healing in the name of Jesus. We're going to speak that in the name of Jesus. We're so involved in other things from entertainment to movies to other things. We're, we haven't even been seeing you. And now we see you. Hallelujah. Bam. I see the bam. Now we see you, Father. And we're coming to you in the name of Jesus. Amen. Take, take this. We lack nothing. Amen. I saw that. We lack nothing. This represents the blood of Jesus Christ. He, he spilled his precious blood on the cross. Do you know we have like 20 trillion red blood cells in our body? And, and they go around, they live 120 days, and then they expire and then they die. And, and the, the, they go, I mean, they travel through the heart thousands and thousands of times in a given day to give us life and nutrition. You want real life? You want real life that COVID-19 cannot touch? That financial problems cannot touch? That sickness cannot touch? That heartaches cannot touch? That depression cannot touch? That anxiety cannot touch? Here it is, it's the blood of the lamb. This is not blood, it's just pure water. But I, I, I use it as a symbolism for the blood because that's what Jesus taught us to do. They drank differently. We're drinking differently today. Whatever you have, even if you don't have water with you, just act like you're drinking it and imagine it because this is the beauty of Jesus. He accepts us as we are. That's how beautiful he is. Thank you. Fasting today, I see you. Bless you. Bless you. Thank you for joining us in fasting. Amen. So I want you to understand the blood here. In the Old Testament, the blood, when they slayed the lamb, it covered the sins of the people. But when Jesus Christ came, it didn't cover our sins. It cleansed us from all our sins. And I'm talking to someone right now. I'm talking to you. You may have done abortion in the past and your soul is just cut in half. You've done something crazy. We've done something crazy in the past and we're like, we can't get rid of it. It's in our minds. It's in our souls. How could I do that? Why did I say that? How did I do How did I do that? How did I kill that person with our words? Right now, I'm going to claim in 1 John 1, 7, we all know 1 John 1, 9, but how about 1 John 1, 7, that Jesus Christ cleanses all. Can y'all say all with me? Yell out all. All. People type out all so I can see you. Type out all, all our sins. He washes away all, not some. Not the, not the ones that are all easy and okay, we can get away with that. But all our sins. He washes all our sins. In 1 John 1, 7. In Revelation 1, 5 is Jesus Christ. And Jesus Christ, He washed away all our sins. In Galatians 3, 13 Ooh, Galatians 3.13, he became a curse so that we can become righteousness. Jesus hung on the cross, so he became the curse. And so we become righteous. And as we take this, I want you to also understand that in Exodus chapter 12, and I believe it's in verse 23, that when the Israelites put the blood on the doorposts, that the death angel passed through them. Oh my goodness. Here is the blood of Jesus Christ. We're about to put it on our doorpost. And we're going to say to COVID-19 and all of hell and all these satanic things that are coming against us, be gone in the name of Jesus because we have the blood of the Lamb and this is our protection. We got the healing by the bread. We got this, the blood, for our protection and our salvation. Hallelujah. So drink with me. Drink with me. 
And as we drink, I want you to understand that every single sin you and I have done is completely, completely thrown into the depths of the sea, will no longer be remembered. Oh, he's good. He is good. Let's drink together in the name of Jesus. He is in control of this room, of this house, of your house, of I'm in the mender of hearts where we see patients and by God's grace, bring healing to them. Wherever you are, whatever you're doing, he's seeing you. He's seeing your amens and he's seeing your hallelujahs. You know, in Psalm 21, 121, it says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. Where does my help come from? It comes from the Lord. It doesn't come from nobody else, y'all. That's our problem. We look to everywhere else and say, help me. Please, I'm begging you. Can, can you help me? Can you listen to me? Can you listen to my cry? Let's go to Jesus. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heavens and earth. He will not let your foot slip. He is watching over you. Ooh, he's watching over you. He's watching over you. He's watching over you. He has not forgotten you. You thought he forgot you, but he did not forget you. He will never for take, uh, forget you and he will never forsake you. Oh, we lift up our eyes to the hills. Our help comes from the Lord. You know, the ending of that in, in verse 7 and 8 of 121 Psalms, it says, the Lord will keep watch over your life. Oh, oh, no, no, not some of your life, but all of your life. He will watch over your life. He will watch over your coming and going, wherever you go, whatever you do. Lockdown or no lockdown. Showtime or no showtime, work or no work, our Lord is watching over us. And we're going to breathe by the Holy Spirit for Him to do amazing things in the world, in your circumstances, in your body, in your mind, in your heart, and your soul, and in your family. That's what we believe today and forever because that's why we're together praying. For some reason, I want to sing this song, The Blood of Jesus, and help me sing it with me. Uh, it's, it's very simple. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Let me tell you about the blood of Jesus. It washes white as snow. It's washing you right now. We're proclaiming that it's protecting you and your family right now. That it's healing you right now. Ooh, and it's protecting you. It's protecting you. It's protecting you. You shall have no fear. Because of His great love, we are not consumed because of His great love. His compassions never fail. Never. They are new every morning. Great is His faithfulness. Yeah, weeping. Ooh, there's been a lot of weeping going on. May remain for the night. But let me tell you, rejoicing is coming. It is coming. Your victory is on its way because you are in Jesus. He is in you. If you abide in Him and in His Word and I abide in Him and His Word, then He is in us. And every good and perfect gift is from above. It comes from the Father of the heavenly lights. He doesn't change. We change. He don't change. He don't change like shifting shadows. We bless you, Lord. We bless you. I want to pray for salvation for those who don't know Jesus Christ. I see your, I see your hands. I see your prayers. Thank you, Lord. Yes, yes, I see that. I see you, Jerusalem. God bless you. Hallelujah. It's so wonderful to have brothers and sisters from all over the world. It's driving me crazy. I love it. I love it. I love it. I love it. Can you imagine that, that the spiritual world of God and, and Christ is so rejoicing right now as you and I were holding hands 
We're, we're heart to heart. We're soul to soul. We're praying for the world, God, for the world to change, for salvation to come, for healing to fall on the whole world, every single nation in the name of Jesus, and for God, for God to bring up men and women of God in high positions that love Him and love His Word. Yes, 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 it's time. Yes, it's time. Yes, it's time. So you might be joining us and you may not know, not know Christ uh, or you, you're like, well, I don't know if the rapture happens today or if I die. I, don't, I don't really don't know uh, where I'm going to go. We're going to find out. Yes, yes, John 6, 35. Amen. Our God is the bread of life. We're going to find out right now. It's so simple. God made it so beautiful. Remember, He died for the whole world. He loves you. He ain't mad at you. He's madly in love with you. He wants to hang out with you. He wants to give you of His heart and soul and grace and wisdom and goodness and mercy. That's what He wants to do. So come on. Come on. What you waiting for? Ain't nobody going to give you that. Nobody. Just Jesus. Not only life here, 70, 80, 90, 100 years, but life eternally with Him. Because without Jesus Christ and without the blood, there's hell. And that's forever too. And ain't, well, no, we're not going there. We're going to go be with the Lord. We're going to be so happy, y'all. COVID-19 can't even knock on the door. Yes. Shut up, COVID-19. I'm tired of you. I'm tired of the false prophets. I shut up. I say shut up. You and all the false prophets of the media saying it's going to be worse and there's no vaccine and God, we're going to die. Shut up in the name of Jesus. We are going to rise in the name of Jesus. We are going to be well in the name of Jesus. We are going to live in the name of Jesus. We, by the blood of the lamb, we're going to be like the eagles that fly. Hallelujah. Eagles that fly. Eagles that fly. Not no chickens and not no worms, but eagles, baby. We're flying because of the Lord. Amen. Shut up, COVID-19. You go to hell in the name of Jesus Christ. By the blood of the Lamb. We are overcomers by the blood of the Lamb and by the word of our testimony. And that's what all and my loved ones right now are doing right now. By the blood of the Lamb and by our word and our testimony in Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Where were we? <laughs> we were with salvation. So anybody who does not know, keep your eyes on Jesus. Amen. I see you. I see you. He's the way maker. I see you. I see you. You believe in him. Amen. Amen. I see you. I see you, loved ones. I see your hands. I see your hearts. I see your hearts. I see your prayers. He paid it all. I see what you're saying. He paid it all. He didn't pay some of it. You're right. Thank you for the word. Hallelujah. Lord, thank you for the word. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, Isaiah 53. By stripes we are healed. Amen. 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 We don't deserve this, but he's given it to us. Amen. I see you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I see you. I see you, Proverbs 3, 1, 2, 5. I see you. God bless you. Debbie, I see you. Oh, my goodness. Yes, hallelujah. We are healed by his stripes. So if you don't know Jesus Christ today or unsure, say, Father God, Say it with me. Father God, I come before you. I, I come as a sinner. I, I'm looking at myself, especially during this COVID-19. I'm tripping out. I, I'm, I'm scared like crazy. I, I don't even know what's going to happen to me tomorrow. I don't know what's going to happen to me when I die. Oh, Father God, I'm coming to you. You are the bread of life. You are from Bethlehem. You were you sent Jesus from heaven to Bethlehem, the house of uh, the house of bread. I'm coming to you, Papa. I'm coming to you. Take my sins. Take myself. Take who I am. Take me. Take me. I don't have anything to offer you. I have sickness. I have confusion. I have anxiety. I have depression. I have um, stupid thoughts. I, I have fear. I have, what do I got to give you? I don't have anything to give you, but you gave me your only son, Jesus Christ. Oh, he's so pure. And he bled on the cross for me. And he, he got his stripes on the back for me so I could be healed and I could be saved. I'm taking it. I'm coming to you. I accept it. I claim with my mouth that you are Lord. I claim with my mouth that you died on the cross for me. I claim with my mouth that you are sinless. And I claim with my mouth that I'm a sinner. But your blood is all over me right now. And I'm cleansed. I am pure. Nobody's going to tell me about yesterday. Nobody's going to remind me. And if they do, I'm just like, hey, 
It's at the cross. You got a problem with that? It's at the cross. That's where that's at. It's buried there. And I'm, I've arose and I've risen from my, with my God from the dead. And I'm alive. I'm like the eagles that fly with my God. Hallelujah. Father, I accept you. I accept your blood. And I know wherever it is, whenever I go, however it's going to be, whenever I die, I'm going to see you face to face. Because you said to the thief on the cross, today you're going to be with me in paradise. And we know we're going to be with you in paradise whenever you take us home, Papa. But give us time, Papa. Give us time to proclaim the word of God to the nations and let revival start with us, Papa. Oh, we're just one voice amongst many. And you love all your creatures and you love all your pastors and, and, and all the people who serve you. They don't have to be pastors. They, you love all, Papa. We're just one little voice. But we want to serve, 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 serve you, Papa. That's what we want to do. Woo! Yes, yes, yes. So hallelujah. Yes, Jesus said he has come to give us life and give it to us more abundantly. Amen. I saw that. He is able. I see you. I see your hands. I see your amens. I see your God is your healer. Hallelujah. Say it. Jehovah Rapha. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 I'll leave you with this. I ask God to help me with what to say at the end. And of course, he's the Holy Spirit and he's our Savior and he loves us so much. I leave you with Joshua 1.9. He says, have I not commanded you? He's not asking us. He's not like, uh, I got a, you got an option. It's a yes or a no. Have I not commanded you, you and me? He's like, have I not commanded you? Be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid. Do not dismay. Check this out, y'all. For I, the Lord, your God, will go with you wherever you go hallelujah to the lamb he is with you he is for you he's beside you he will never abandon you he loves you and i'm claiming the healing of god on you right now i'm claiming the protection of god on you and your family i'm claiming that all the goodness and mercies of god fall 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 upon you with healing and as it does May our praises be lifted up just as your hearts are lifting up right now. I love seeing that. And the amens and the hands, just like that. May our praises, Lord. May our praises, Lord. May our praises, Lord, be acceptable in your sight, Papa. Because of the blood of Jesus, it already is. Oh, oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah to the Lamb of God. We shall meet again. We shall meet again. God willing. We shall meet again. And next time, we'll study again together the Word of God and pray together and make a difference in our world. Because you know why? He has called you. You, at this time, with your sweet prayers, with your innocent heart saying, I'm just giving up my soul to God right now. I'm, I'm giving all I have to Him. You, He's called you and me together so that we can do amazing things for our God by the blood of the Lamb and solely, solely by His Word and His strength and His Holy Spirit and His love. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for listening. I see you. Thank you so much. Yes, Jesus, thank you. I see you all. God bless you and keep you and shine His face upon you. Be strong. Be courageous. Don't be dismayed. Why? Because the Lord God goes with you wherever you go. Ah, so good. He's so good. God bless you all. I love you. I keep on praying for you. And we shall, by God's grace, we shall meet again. Bye-bye, everyone. Bye-bye. God's blessings on you.